I can't tell if this looks bad or not, but I tried to do my lips bigger. Mm. I probably did it wrong. Leave a comment if I did it wrong. I think I did. This is supposed to be more in the center. I can smell the failure. <laughs> this is what you get. You get big lipstick, a lot of lips dodgy. So it's my birthday, guys. I'm doing this on my birthday and um it's gonna be posted well i guess today which is wednesday so uh you get to see all the silliness of of me i uh, this is this is the natural dodgy in her natural habitat 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 so today we're going to be doing something a little bit different guys i want it to start a new series and let me know in the comment section down below would you not be so rude and interrupt phone? Ugh, how dare you? But I wanted to do something new, guys. I wanted to start a new series, and I'm calling it Wicked Wednesdays. I wanted to do this quick little video to kind of see what you guys think, and let me know in the comments section down below what you would like to see for Wicked Wednesdays. Would you like more informational? Would you like more fun facts? Would you like mysterious Reddit posts or spooky videos? Whatever you guys are more keen to is what I'm gonna go more into for Wicked Wednesdays, guys. So please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to show your support, you can always subscribe to my channel. You could also follow me on my Insta of Grams and show your love and support. Join the Dune Squad. We would love to have you. <laughs> I just love doing that. It's just fun. So for today's first episode of Wicked Wednesdays, we are going to be talking about the top 10 craziest and most disturbing habits famous murderers had. Number 10, Robert Badilla. Robert Badilla kept detailed notes of everything he did to his victims. Also known as the Kansas City Butcher, he tortured and murdered at least six men between 1984 and 1987. He had a habit of keeping detailed notes of everything he did to his victims while they were his captives for months. Number 9. Joseph James D'Angelo Joseph D'Angelo would stack dishes on the back of his victims. He would warn that if the dishes would fall, he would kill each and every one of his victims. Otherwise known as the Golden State Killer, Joseph committed at least 13 murders across California between 1973 and 1986. He would enter houses, stack dishes on the backs of his victims, and warn them that if they fell, he'd kill everyone in the house. Number eight, Carl Tanzilla. Carl Tanzler kept the body of a dead patient in his house for seven years. Carl Tanziller was a German-born radiologist who developed an obsession with a tuberculosis patient named Alina Milagro del Helozo. After she died, he raided her tomb to obtain her body and kept it at his house for seven years. Number seven, the Axemen of New Orleans. Perhaps one of the strangest ones on the list, this slew of murders began in May 1918 in Louisiana and Texas and were carried out with axes belonging to the victims. On March 19, 1919, police received a note saying that if people played jazz music loudly, they would not be killed. Following this, no one died, and the Axeman was never found. So they actually did present the Axeman in the Coven, I believe it was season three, episode six. Uh, they did talk about the Axemen who would murder people if they did not play jazz music. So that was a really cool thing that uh, I have to say that American Horror Story did. Um, that was actually the first time I was ever presented with his story. 
Like, he has, like, a whole thing behind him, but uh, nobody knows if he was actually a real person or if, you know, somebody just trying to spook people. Uh, nobody knows if, if that's the case, if, if he was just a person uh, who was just trying to bring fear into the town or not. So it's a really creepy story, if you think about it. It's almost reminiscent of when uh, Moses was told to take lamb's blood above the house to protect them from being slain. It's kind of, in my opinion, it's reminiscent to that. I know people who are very much into religion will disagree and they would be very much against that statement, uh, but that is my opinion. That's what it always reminded me of, so. Number six, Herbert Bosmister. Herbert Bowmister set up his pool area with mannequins to have a party. He would also place his victims there. Herbert killed over a dozen men in the early 1990s and even offed himself before he could be formally arrested. Police found the bodies on his property, but the strange thing was they were set up around the pool area along with mannequins made to look like they were having a party. Number five, Ed Jean. Ed Jean was infamous for taking human flesh and turning them into lampshades. Jean killed over 12 people, but the real shocker is what police found at his residence. He used the skin of his victims to make everything from lampshades to bodysuits. Right there is the inspiration for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Number four, Jerry Brutus. Jerry Brutus would use severed feet to model. Brutus murdered at least four women in Oregon between 1968 and 1969. He had an intense admiration for women's shoes. He used them for his personal entertainment and even severed the feet of his victims to place them in heels. Number three, Pee Wee Gaskins. Pee Wee Gaskins would drive around in a hearse with a bumper sticker that read, I haul dead people. Donald Henry Gaskins was convicted of killing eight people and was put on death row. While he was free, however, he'd drive around in a hearse, which was later found to be a sick, if not fitting, joke. Number two, Dennis Nielsen. Dennis Nielsen would bathe, dress, and talk to his dead victims for months before disposing the bodies. Between 1978 and 1983, in London, Scottish serial killer and necro Dennis Nielsen murdered at least 12 young men and boys. The strange thing is, he had a ritual where after killing them, he'd bathe them, dress them, talk, and have intimate relations with before disposing of them. Number one, Catherine Knight. Catherine Knight not only skinned and boiled her husband, she cooked him and served him to her own children. I can't remember anything. Catherine Knight was the first Australian woman to be given life imprisonment without parole for the murder of her husband, John Charles Thomas Price. After stabbing him 37 times, she skinned him and hung his skin from a meat hook. She then cooked his body parts and served them on plates, along with notes beside each plate having the name of one of Price's children on it. Price's head was later found in a pot with vegetables. So that is all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you again in the next one. I love you. Don't forget your boobs.
Hello. Happy birthday. Yay. Thank you, Pop. <laughs> I got to call you before the day is over. Yeah. Say <laughs> holla. Happy birthday. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad I got a granddaughter to say it to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I ain't gonna hold you up. All right, Pop. I'll catch you later. Okay. Love you. Love you more. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye. bye. Bye-bye.